So as you all know, right, this if this is your first time hearing this podcast, you've heard this podcast before, I put this podcast down. All right. I stopped doing it and everything like that. But then I got to the point to where I said, well, wait a minute, John. There's people that are still saying all these things and and these people who are gurus and telling you all this other stuff about podcasting, but they're not telling the complete truth. So I had to come back. And now we are back with the Your Podcast Mentor Show. OK. And on this show, what we do is we break down uh, podcast how to's. We also have interviews with other podcasters and giving you some real tips that you can apply to start your podcast, to grow your podcast, and all those other things. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get back into the episode. And today I'm going to share with you three myths that you need to look out for when it comes to podcasting. All right, let's get into the episode. Are you ready? All right, so here it is. Uh, this is the Your Podcast Mentor Show. And just like I said before, we're talking about three myths because if you're not careful, when we start to hear a lot of myths, we start to hear a lot of rumors, we just accept them as truth because sometimes we're lazy and we don't want to seek out the real answer or we don't want to seek out the truth. OK, so today I'm going to break down three of them for you. And after this episode, I want you to comment just down below if you're watching on YouTube, watching us. Uh, on YouTube, Beyond the Ball Media, right? I want you to comment down below what's another podcast myth that you heard, or even what's a question that you have for us to answer on the show. All right, so let me go ahead and get into the episode. So as we're talking about three myths that we want to be aware of or watch out for when it comes to podcasting. So John, what are three myths? What, 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 are three myths that we need to look out for. So the first myth that we have to make sure that we look out for when it comes to podcasting is this one right here. We have to make sure that we don't listen to people saying the podcast industry is saturated. I know you hear it, and this is why you hear it all the time. You hear people saying the industry is saturated all because they may have a favorite athlete, a favorite entertainer, a favorite personality who's telling you that they're starting a podcast. Or you might hear a particular community starting podcasts. And the thing that we have to be aware of is when there are certain people in groups, like we start seeing football players creating podcasts, then we just assume, oh, all football players have podcasts. I remember that's how it was for me in high school and in college when I played basketball, people would see certain things that the basketball team was doing, and then they would just assume that everybody was doing it. So the first myth is that the podcast industry is saturated, although this is not true. John, how do you know this is not true? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually show you how I know uh, this is not true. Places that might be saturated, right? When it comes to, we talk about blogs, right? Your, 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 your blogs, you have about 600 million blogs out there. Wow, that's a lot of blogs, isn't it? But then you say, well, John, that's not even that many. Because when we talk about Facebook users and people who have Facebook profiles, there's over 2.89 billion active users on Facebook. And that's why we know some people love using Facebook ads because there are a lot of people on the platform and that's fine. And it's wonderful when it comes to marketing towards that platform. However, when we talk about Instagram, they have over 2 billion users as well. Would you want to begin to build your following on a platform that's already overpopulated, right? That's those two, Facebook, Instagram, and then YouTube, over 51 million users. Not to mention that people will hop on YouTube and they'll watch a video and they'll like a video, but they're not subscribing like they used to in the past. So now, well, John, how many podcasts are there? If there's 51 million YouTube channels, if there's over 2 billion Instagram and Facebook users out there each, how many podcasts are there, John? Well, I'm glad that, I'm glad you asked, right? I'm glad you asked because the answer is here. So if we break it down in terms of what's advertised, there's over 4 million podcasts, right? Over 4 million. 
but I want to go a little bit deeper for you. I want you to look at the bottom right hand corner. If you are uh, streaming with us on YouTube, if you happen to be tuning in on podcasts uh, via the audio experience, that's great. I'm going to walk through these numbers just for you. So there's 4,105,749 podcasts advertised. So that's in the podcast landscape, which still is a reasonable number if we look at, like I said, 51 million YouTube channels. Podcasting, there's still a lower barrier for entry. But then when we look at how many people publish shows in the past 90 days, there's just under 500,000. So I want you to think about this question. If you were to start building something, would you want to build it? Okay, here's the best example. Would you want to build a house in a neighborhood that already has houses all around? And the value of your house or the value you're going to have to pay for a house is already going to be set based on all the other houses around the neighborhood. Or would you want to buy land where they're talking about making houses and then begin to get yours built early so now you can set the standard or the price for how much your house should be or could be, right? So what am I saying? If you hop into podcasting now, the train has still not really left the station because 4 million are 2.35 billion. 4 million are 51 million, even though that 4 million number is not accurate because people are loud when they, when they start podcasts, but they're real quiet when they quit them. And the majority of people quit right at episode seven or eight. So keep that in mind. We're going to keep on moving to the second myth. Uh, and the second myth would be this. You need all the equipment. Before you get started, you need the Rodecaster Pro. You need the fancy sure microphone. You need, uh, what do they call those things? Like the equalizer and, 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 and you need an amp and all this other stuff. But no. That's the second, that's why it's the second myth. The only tools that you need is a phone to get started. You can use your AirPods to capture quality audio as long as it's quiet around you. Or you even could use, or you even could use a microphone that's a USB microphone. So you can connect it to your laptop. Some microphones you can even connect directly into your phone. All right. So second myth, don't go out there buying all this expensive equipment and everything like that, because as you're buying all this equipment, one, you're not even going to know how to use it. That's my story. Yeah, I got all the equipment I got over here. I got like three thousand dollars worth of equipment that I done used and went through and I done sold some of it. And now I'm just down to like a microphone and camera. Because I don't need that stuff and neither do you get focused on building a quality show as opposed to get focused on having a bright and shiny show. Okay. That's not what we want to do. We don't want to do that. Okay. And here's an example of somebody who did not do that. One of my clients, uh, Dr. Miriam Smith, shout out to her. She's the host of the empowering new nurses podcast. And she said, after following Jonathan's instructions, I now have over 150 subscribers to my channel in less than three months. Here's a little spoiler alert. Dr. Smith probably has almost 500 subscribers on her YouTube channel and she don't have a fancy camera. She just got a microphone and a laptop and her voice, right? That's all you need, fam. Trust me when I tell you this. So shout out to Dr. Smith, man. Can we give her some love down in the comment section? Shout out to Dr. Smith, the host of the Empowering New Nurses podcast, okay? But real quick, we're at the question segment of the show, and I want to just let you all know what's a question that you have? What's a podcast-related question, right? Are we talking about monetization? Are we talking about growth? Are we talking about how to uh, get more guests on your show or how to be a guest on more people's show? You can feel free to drop the comment just down below in the comment section uh, here on YouTube, or you can feel free to send me a DM at Jonathan Jones Speaks and... I would love to answer your com I would love to answer your comment and or question uh, with the video with the episode 
And of course, we're going to show you love on that because you would give us the idea to answer your question and to assist you. Okay. So if you have a comment and you're listening on the audio, shoot me a DM at Jonathan Jones Speaks. Just say, John, this is my question. I heard the episode. This is my question. Or if you're on YouTube, right? If you're on YouTube, then feel free just to drop that question down in the comment section and we'll get you taken care of, right? We'll get you taken care of. All right. So yeah, let, let's, let's keep on moving. Let's keep on moving. Myth number three, John, what's, what does building authority have anything to do with a podcast? So myth number three says building your authority with podcasting is not possible. You have to be very careful of the people that you listen to. And here's why. More times than not, people have ulterior motives when they tell you not to start a podcast or when they tell you that doesn't work with the podcast. They're telling you that because for them, what they have is this right here. OK, what they have is a business that is built on something other than podcasting. So they're going to try to cancel out that idea to get you to go with whatever their business concept is, whatever that thing might be. OK, so keep in mind, if somebody's telling you don't do that, don't do this, don't do that. Ask them what's their business model. Ask them how do they market and ask them what are they selling? Because if they're trying to talk you out of podcasting, then they're trying to sell you something else. And the reason why we want to be aware of those things so we know what they're trying to sell us and why they're trying to talk us out of it, right? Because I've been podcasting for about six plus years and I've been able to build authority. That's why I started the Your Podcast Mentor Show and this helped me build my authority in the podcasting space. I also had Beyond the Ball with Jonathan Jones and that helped me build my authority in this space working with athletes. So the question now becomes, who is the person that's telling you not to do something and what authority have they built in what respective space? We're going to keep on going. But shout out to the haters. You know what I'm saying? I was listening to uh, Ice Cube on a, uh, I was listening to Ice Cube uh, doing an interview. He was like, shout out to my haters, man. Shout out to my haters. So I just wanted to get a haters a little shout out too. <laughs> I love it. Here's the fact. The fact is podcasting is the best way to grow your authority in 2022 and now 2023. Right. Because like I said before, people aren't reading the blogs as often as they used to because people are so busy. People may or may not watch YouTube videos, but a lot of times people will play a YouTube video like myself and they'll be listening to that YouTube video or they'll be listening to that episode. But it's a YouTube video also. But guess what? It's still a podcast. Right. That's just the fact that it matter. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it moving. And now myth number four. This is a little bonus myth I wanted to do just for you. There's no money in podcasting. John, but there's no money in podcasting. Why are you podcasting? There's no money in this space. Really? Is that a fact? Yes, John, that is a fact. Okay, cool. There's no money in podcasting. If that's the case, then why, according to market research, it says pod, the podcast market is to be valued at 98.78 billion by 2030, increasing at a CAGR, which stands for compound annual growth rate of 30.65%. High quality audio will drive the industry. John, why will high quality audio drive the industry? Because one thing that we have to be honest about, talk radio isn't going anywhere. And that's what podcasting is. Podcasting is the better version of talk radio because people can listen to it anytime and they don't have to go and sit down at nine o'clock AM and catch your radio show. We have stuff to do and we want to accomplish our own goals. So why are we trying to catch your radio show when you tell us to listen to it? No, sir. No, ma'am. So is there money in podcasting? You bet your bottom dollar there is, and you better get on it, okay? Because the people who are becoming authorities are the people who can command the highest value. Okay, let's keep going. But lastly, family, I just want to let you all know uh, that if you enjoy this episode of the Your Podcast Mentor Show, I want you just to show us some love. And how can you show us some love? You can hit subscribe on your YouTube, right? Right here where you listen to the episode or watch the episode, you can smash the subscribe button. 
Uh, you can find our podcast in Apple Podcasts and write us a review. Type your podcast mentor show. And you can have a chance for us to shout you out. So if you are if you leave a review on Apple Podcasts, make sure to comment like your name or your Instagram handle and even tell us about your business so we can shout out your business on our show. All right. And y'all, I just want to thank you for taking the time to listen, take time to, to like rock with us for just a little bit. And here's why. Here's why. Here's why. Okay. The, the way that we continue to grow, the way that we continue to add more value is by you asking questions, by you commenting in the comment box. And when we see your comments, we respond back. We make sure to show you love and we make sure to let you get recognized because you deserve that for taking the time to rock with us. But even more than that, you deserve that as an individual. So family, this is the Your Podcast Mentor Show, and I'm your host, Jonathan Jones, and we are the authority on all things podcasting. All right, until next time, peace. God bless.